Hey guys, this is it. This is the last Supernatural Season 15 video that I'm going to do, at least for a little while. These are the top five best episodes, both rated by you and then rated by myself. Admittedly, there was not exactly a lot to choose from in this season. There were a lot of either mediocre, disappointing, or middle-of-the-road episodes. These are the episodes that I gave positive ratings to, at least my list, and there were some struggles throughout this season. As I mentioned in my top five worst, there was a lot of episodes that were filler, and considering this was the final season, the lack of actual narrative-related episodes was quite embarrassing. The fact that this was supposed to be the be-all, end-all season, and they had a lot of episodes that just were kind of random and not really based on the show itself but more based on fan service was kind of unfortunate <laughs> last call being one of them however there were a few episodes throughout the season that did actually pay homage to what the show was and particularly being the gamblers the whole idea of hustling being the crux of what the brothers have had to do for such a long time to make money and to do what they do and the fact that they had an entire episode based on this concept that's been around since the first season that was something I enjoyed. And there were some episodes related to the narrative that were very well done, admittedly. And there were a few filler episodes that were also well done. But again, the lacking amount of positivity in this season, positive ratings, was quite surprising. But we're going to talk about the ones that were the best. Starting off with you guys, there was a two-way tie for fifth place, being The Gamblers and Despair. Now, the gamblers I can understand. Despair I can't. Despair was terrible. <laughs> the whole snap thing, and I thought that was just a, such a bad episode. But the gamblers, like I said, that was a fantastic episode based on the crux of what the brothers were. Sure, Castiel had that random ass story going on with the angels thing, but very, very much enjoyed. Number four was another episode that I didn't think was that great, but it was Inherit the Earth. This was the season finale, this was the end of the Chuck storyline, and you guys gave this a 9%, the previous two having 7%. Well, I guess, I guess you guys enjoyed it. I, I didn't particularly, but that was what you guys thought. I guess it was the end of the Chuck storyline. Number three being the beginning of the triple arc for the season finale being Unity. Unity actually was pretty much the best episode of this season. It had a great build up with Amara, God, Jack, everything was coming to it ahead and this is honestly stuff that they could have spent a lot more time on like the whole debate with Amara and God that could have been its own episode to be honest. That could have been its own thing or at least half of it, but at least it wasn't put together poorly. It was actually a really good buildup. Sure, the uh, everything that followed was a bit disappointing, but yeah, I feel it's it's good. It's uh, worthy of being on here. Number two is now this was a bit of a fan servicey one, but in a good way. This was our father who aren't in heaven. This was the return of Michael Adam, and boy did that guy get screwed over and in inherit the earth. But this was a really cool episode to see. The biggest question, one of the biggest questions that had not yet been answered about this show was what had happened to Michael and Adam since they went into the cage. And there was a great dialogue with those two about what was happening to him. Admittedly, all the side stuff in this episode wasn't the greatest, but that whole aspect was a big, big thing for people, and obviously that's why it was number two. And then number one is Carry On. The series finale. Now for some I can understand, and I also understand why this is also one of the most hated episodes. Like the, the divide is great, it's just like up and down, but this is what you guys thought were the number one episode of the season, and that was by 21%. So thank you guys again for contributing to this poll. This one had 107 votes. Sorry again that I couldn't have you guys vote for more, but I very much appreciate it, and you guys taking the time to do so. Without further ado, let's start with my list. We have two runners up, First, being the rupture, purely because Ketch died. That was so goddamn satisfying, but that's really just a throwaway, more for a joke. The actual runner-up is Carry On. Like I said when I did my top five worst, I said that this one was going to be both in the worst and the best, and there are aspects of it that are good. They're hard to find, but they're in there. I just rewatched it yesterday with my dad, the man who I started watching this show with all the way back in season one. And he even pointed out that there was some stupid stuff in this episode, but we also agreed on some of the good stuff. 
particularly re-watching Dean's death scene. The first half of it is horrible. The first bit of dialogue is the corniest ass garbage, and the fact that he's alive for so long on this peg, Sam could have gone to the car, got a got a fucking first aid kit, called an ambulance, and saved his life all in this time. But it's when Dean mentions, you remember when I went to your dorm, and you remember when I came and asked you for help. I stood outside for hours because I was terrified of what you would say to me. And all of the dialogue after that is great. It just flips a switch so much that it was amazing to see just a change in the quality. And then Sam going through his despair was so well done. Seeing Dean go up to heaven and kind of find out that things have changed. Yeah, it's a MacGuffin garbage, but it was still well done. But then again, why it's in the worst is the dialogue before that crap. The whole part with Sam just kind of getting over the death of his brother, yet we don't see it at all. We just see him go immediately to a montage. But in that montage, the part where he's looking at the empty seat beside him, he's missing his brother. Oh, that part was great. But yeah, there's a lot of shit in this episode, which speaking of which, when I finish this video, I have, I have something to tell you that I'm gonna do, but let's get onto the list. So now here are the actual top five best episodes of season 15 in my opinion this is my opinion so don't rage but these are what i thought were the five best episodes of the season you might be a little bit surprised by some of them some of them you won't but at least to say here we go number five on the list is actually a filler episode kind of but it was also the last time that jensen ackles directed an episode atomic monsters this one had a fantastic start with a really well choreographed gunfight fight scene in one of these alternative versions universes that apparently god i don't know it was kind of weird but I, it was cool and it was really well directed there was some weird snap editing that i don't particularly enjoy but it was there and i thought this was well done this was a good filler story about them going after this kid vampire who was attacking all these high school students but just the relationship between the brothers was well established it was well directed it had actually jensen singing in it which i didn't mind not not actually singing like in last call but so, a song of his in the background which was pretty well done and i thought that this was a fun episode a fun filler episode it was the best filler episode of this season because it dipped into some story element and I thought it was a pretty solid episode, both directing and writing, so that's why it's number five. Number four on the list is Our Father Who Art in Heaven, The Return of Michael Adam. Now the reason why it's number four is while the Michael Adam part was very well done, the rest of the episode is completely forgettable. I actually can't remember what happened, and I just watched my review about it. But this episode, aside from the Michael Adam part, was kind of very weak. The best part was obviously this interaction, seeing this character, and I think the part that stood out to me the most about this episode was have, with Michael and Adam talking with himself in that diner, and that was one of the best parts. It sucked that nothing came of it, absolutely fucking at all, but it was still a great interaction with the character, and I didn't like how it left a cliffhanger leading into the mid-season finale. Well, it was the mid-season finale, and I didn't realize that when I watched it, and I keep forgetting that it was. Part of the stuff that I thought was stupid about the episode was when Eileen gets a phone call from the woman that we've never heard of, and even though this woman's been dead for three years, somehow she automatically has her cell phone again, and this person knows, even though it's like, hey, Eileen, I haven't called you in three years, but I knew you were dead, but for some reason I don't know that you're dead now. And yeah, that part was dumb. That was asking a lot. I still liked how it built up to the season finale i thought the i thought the fact that michael could snap with and make a, a portal to purgatory or wherever with the handcuffs on was a little weird but i also liked how castiel was able to convince him hey god's been dick let's work together none of that mattered though but that's probably one of the other reasons why this one is not only number four because of everything that was completely let down by the subsequent episodes being inherit the earth but that's why it's number four to me. Number three was originally going to be my number one, but then I actually rewatched the episode and uh, the, the, some tidbits, and I realized that the side story with Castiel and the weird Jack eating angel thing was very stupid. But number three is The Gamblers. This was a fantastic service episode. Not a fan service, but a show service. Something relating and making example of what was a key component of the show, but it was never really a big part of it, but it was always a side element. The hustle of 
cool. And this had some fantastic writing in terms of relating to what was a core av part of the show. It took that absolutely garbage luck aspect that was introduced in the episode pr prior, the hero's journey shit, and it took it and it made something decent with it. I liked how Jensen and Jared were both able to use their own pool game because they have some skills themselves and they were able to put that into the episode. This was just an all around really good episode about what makes the brothers who they are, the elements of the show, and just a, overall a very good service episode to the show itself, not just the fans. Number two was actually the highest rated episode of the season to me. Okay, it's golden time. Now the reason why it's not number one is because while it was a great episode following up with what happened to Rowena, having Eileen get thankfully brought back after the garbage that happened to her at the end of season 12, and a really cool just all around episode. It's not a main main story episode, so that's why it's number two. But this episode overall was just really really well done. Every aspect of this episode was great. Even the random ass Castiel story. Sure the thing he was hunting had, was done by a terrible actor, but that, at least that was actually well done. Every part of this, aside from the terrible acting and the really, really bad sound choice for or music choice during the fight scene with the witches, was cool. I liked how the one that you thought was gonna go good, the Ezra Miller looking one, in the end Dean just blasted her, <laughs> but then he waited for his gun to be taken away. So again, not everything about this episode was perfect, but I did like that Eileen got a second chance after the garbage hand that she was dealt. I liked how the connection between Sam and Rowena was expanded upon, and I also just like the idea of a house that had like this barrier, this witch spell thing. It was probably a really creative spell to me. And overall, this was just a really, really well put together episode. This was, in fact, the best episode rating I gave. I gave it a 6 out of 7. I didn't give any other episodes that rating. Not even the one that I'm about to give to the next one. But, again, it wasn't a story, a heavy, heavy, heavy story related episode towards Chuck. So, that is why it gets number two, but trust me, this was the best episode. Just taking away all story aspects, just as put together, it's the best episode. But my number one, and this was actually number one for a lot of other people, for, uh, not on the, the poll, obviously, but for other, uh, other websites and whatnot, my number one choice is Unity. This built up a fantastic plateau that would eventually just fall right fuck through with the following two episodes but this built up the garbage hand that we had been dealt with this whole chuck god story thing this this stupid stupidness that we had been given at the end of season 14 we were given a plateau a foundation to really get invested amara and chuck were having a basic conversation of creation deities the debate of debates of whether life or death is the future for the human race for earth itself for the universe that they were in all the while jack and dean are going off to find adam and get the the, the weird bone thing and adam's just this groovy dude but jack and dean are having a conversation themselves about the morals of what they're doing i did enjoy how everything came together sam is trying to figure out what is the plan? What is the plan for what's going on? Him and Cass go off and like they sneak down to Death's library. Every part of this episode had something going on. While I feel that maybe they could have split it up and Despair could have... Really, this instead of this being three-parter, this should have been a four or a five-parter or a good god, maybe the entire fucking season, but that was too much to ask of Dab. But I still enjoyed the pacing of this episode. This one was really building up to something that unfortunately never came of anything, but it had a foundation that was solid. It made you care. It piqued my interest, and it got me invested to watch the next four, you know, three kind of disappointments. Unity did the best thing that it could have done. It made you interested in the Chuck storyline that we didn't ask for, that we didn't care about, that we weren't invested in. It got you interested in what was going to happen in the following episode, how they were going to defeat Chuck, and it got you invested in every aspect of the whole overall season when a lot of the episodes leading to it had done nothing to build up for it. It also came at a great time because we had had 
near on four episodes of filler in a row since the coronavirus return and we were just so pissed off with all the filler that we got. I think that was a, another aspect that helped it. It got a breath of fresh air. So then the end, that is my number one choice for the best episode of season 15 being Unity. So there we go. Those are my top five choices for the best episodes of season 15. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. Thank you guys again for contributing to the voter, uh, the, the fan choice one. I don't agree with it, but you know what? I still appreciate you guys making the time to put your thoughts into it. Now I have one more thing I'm going to say. Season 4 is definitely the next thing on my mind. I've already seen Lazarus Rising, so I'm going to be doing a video for that very, very soon, but I'm going to do one more video talking about the series finale, but that's not going to happen for a while, but I do have some thoughts about it, and there's things that I want to kind of go over, but again, that's not happening for a while. Season 4 is my next project, so I hope you guys join me as we go back through the golden seasons of supernatural but thank you guys again for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while but i'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie thanks to a successful kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.